game. So what can the residents of Tokyo expect? Joining us live from Hong Kong is John Pauline, a sports architect who has worked on every Summer Olympic Games in Sydney and will be hopefully helping design Tokyo's Olympic landscape. John, thank you so much for joining us on Newsday. You know the inner workings of these uh, Olympic Games. When do you think will they start building some of these key Olympic sites and renovating existing ones? I think the International Olympic Committee would love them to start starting immediately. Uh, however, there's still a lot of preparation work that needs to occur and there is some infrastructure that is uh, uh, more complicated than others. Uh, so for instance, some of the big infrastructure such as the Olympic Village where all of the athletes and technical officials will be living, uh, that will probably start uh, sometime next year in terms of the design process, whereas the major competition venues, uh, and they're proposing 21 of those venues, so about 11 new per uh, permanent venues and 11 temporary ones, they'll start uh, maybe two years down the track from now. And in the meantime, there's going to be lots of work on arterial infrastructure, so roads and transport infrastructure in order to support the Games. The main Olympic site, they plan to finish uh, a year before the Olympic Games in 2020, just in time for the uh, Rugby World Cup in 2019. Do you think uh, that goal is attainable? Um, it probably is. Um, uh, I don't have all of the technical details of, uh, of what they were supporting for Tokyo. However, I do know uh, in all of the Olympics I've worked on previously, uh, to get all of the venues done a year before the Games is something that all of the major organising committees aspire to because that means that they can test the events uh, during those summer months exactly uh, aligning with the following year which means that they can get all of their practice sessions done in time and they can feel confident about hosting the Games one year later. So it's a very good aspiration for the city to achieve. And John, the last time uh, Tokyo hosted the Games was in 1964. How do you think will they uh, integrate the legacy of uh, those Olympic Games to the 2020 Olympics? Well, they're already uh, using a, a couple of the, uh, the venues as part of their uh, Olympic master plan. Uh, there's been some very iconic architectural buildings by Kenzo Tangi, uh, which they're proposing to host uh, handball in Tokyo. I think it's actually uh, it's a lovely idea to actually use some of those historic buildings because it's really going to marry the past and the future of Japan together in, in the wonderful city of Tokyo. So I think it's a, it's a nice proposal. John Pauline, a sports architect, joining us from Hong Kong. Thank you for your...